you like this again? I bust your lung. You see it every day. Every ten minutes. <laughs> now most people think this is just water coming out of their trucks. It's not. Well, it looks like there's a little uh, traffic jam out there on the jungle, so... Was this anybody's first time on the jungle cruise? Yeah, mine too. Anybody's last time on the jungle cruise? <laughs> Just kidding, I had so much fun today, I'm going to go again, and again, and again. Anybody else feel like the career seeking on the circles? I do. So what do Princess Anna and Bluetooth have in common? They're both Hans free. Um, why were the Star Wars movies made out of order? Scheduling a charge of Yoda. Alright, it's time to move on though. Alright, we are not out of the woods yet. You can tell because there's trees. But we are coming up to the most dangerous part of our journey. Stay seated, please. Stay seated. Thank you. All right, we are coming up to the most dangerous part of our journey, though. It is the return to civilization, so I'd like to remind you all to stay seated. Keeping hands, arms, feet, legs, shoulders, knees, toes, knees, toes, inside the vehicle at all times. Parents watch your children. Children watch your parents. It is a jungle out there, after all. But no trip into the jungle would ever be complete without saying hello. The head salesman of the jungle trader, Sam, he's coming up here on the left. Everybody say hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. He's got a special deal going on just for us. Two of his heads for one of yours. Any takers? Just one. Everyone else to attach their head. Yeah, well, no matter which way you slice it and dice it, I'm sure you'll come out ahead. It's a pretty cutthroat deal, if you ask me. Now, if you believe vegetables are called vegetarians, you have to call Sam a true humanitarian. He even had a stranger for dinner last night. What a guy, right? Yeah, he also opened up a cannibal cafe just down the river. He's always finding new ways to serve you. Yeah, in fact, just last week, Sam had my boyfriend and I over for dinner, and I had to tell him, Sam, your wife makes a great stew. And he said, thanks. You sure will miss her. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I said that. Shocking, I know, right? Okay, I'll stop. I know. Cannibal jokes are not only bad, or tasteless. <laughs> Alright, that one was really my last one. I'll stop. Okay, let's go back to those Disney jokes. Uh, you. Yoo-hoo, big summer blowout. Um, what prize did guest on win? Yeah, the Nobel Prize. What are Captain Hook's favorite shoe? Crocs. <laughs> yep. Well, guys, we laughed together. We cried together. We very nearly almost died together. Some people would say we're even like a family. I'm not really one of those people, though. Yeah, because just like you, 10 months with family is more than enough time together, right? <laughs> I guess this would be the first family gathering I went to when nobody asked when I'm going to get a real job. I'm just kidding. My parents are so very proud of my brother. <laughs> Man, this is getting awkward. They didn't give me enough material for this. So uh, let me point out some of my favorite plants. You all that one up there that's hibiscus. The one below it, lobiscus. Um, that one with bark, that's doggy biscuits. And there's sea biscuits and biscuits and gravy. Yeah, I love plants. I was actually going to bring you all some, but I never bought any. Well, if you had fun today, this has been the World Famous Jungle Cruise. My name is Skipper Maggie. If not, names just really aren't that important, are they? And if you laughed today, thank you for laughing. If you did not laugh, thank you for leaving. It's been a really uncomfortable 10 minutes for all of us, hasn't it? <laughs> but, uh, you know what they say. Get out. <laughs> but I'm sorry, that was rude. Please get out. Oh, thank you for the penny applause. I'll get them home to my disappointed parents. Watch your head, watch your step, use the handrails, and don't cross over those crates in the center. It's not a great idea. If everybody would stand them all at once, that helps us balance out the boat. That way we sink more evenly. Looks way cooler in pictures that way when we can't read the newspaper, trust me.